All right, so in this video, we're going to go over ground control stations. We've been dealing with them a little bit to this point, but in this video, it's going to be a little bit of a lower level approach. So what exactly is a ground control station? Essentially, it's some sort of computer that can connect with a drone and communicate with it. It can be used to command the drone or monitor the drone. Commands could be, you know, move to this waypoint or return to launch or things like that. And monitoring information could be things like seeing what the current status of the GPS health is, seeing what the battery levels are like, seeing how fast the drone is moving, things like that. And typically when people refer to the ground control station, they're referring to some sort of GUI, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case because Mavproxy is not a GUI per se. So the bare bones ground control station is just a off-board computer, off-board from the drone, that is able to bidirectionally communicate with the drone in the air. So it is just an interface into your drone. Here is a stupid analogy, just in case you didn't get the picture from the last slide. So let's imagine you're a customer at your favorite local store, and you're trying to communicate with the cashier. Well, how are you going to do that? How are we going to solve this communication problem? Well, you're the customer, you're going to start talking. From a high level, you're going to start talking to the cashier. Okay, but how do we know that we're not just saying a bunch of noise that the cashier isn't going to know how to interpret. We both have to be sharing the same language. If I'm speaking Spanish and the cashier speaks English, I can be talking all I want, but the cashier isn't going to interpret anything. So we need this common medium layer that is the language layer. And at the low level, we need our words that we're talking in English to transmit somehow to the cashier, and that is done through sound. So our vocal cords will create some noise, and then the ears of the cashier will catch that noise. The words will be interpreted as English, because we're both sharing this English layer. And then our words will get sent to the cashier's brain, which will then be able to interpret our request and grab that package of bubblegum that we are asking them for. So here's some fancy arrows, just in case you didn't get that. Well, the same can be said for our drones and our ground control station communication. So let's say we want the drone to land. And let's start at the high level of the ground control station. So at this high level, we have Mavproxy where we could type a command telling the drone to land, or we could uh, press a button in queue ground control that would tell the drone to land. But either way, that request for the drone to land will cause a land message in the Mavlink protocol to get created and that is message number 76, command number 21. So this Mavlink message will get created, all packaged up, all the ones and zeros set in place, and then that package will get sent through the low level, which, in, which could be telemetry, where the Mavlink message gets sent from one telemetry module to the drone's telemetry module, or it could be through a TCP or UDP IP interface. But that message gets sent to the drone, but how do we interpret that message? We're both using Mavlink to define our speech in this case. So since we're both using Mavlink, we know already that the request that is coming in is Mavlink message number 7621, which means that the ground control station wants us to land. So then that interpretation will get sent to Ardu Pilot which is like the brain of the drone, and Ardu Pilot will say, hey, we just got this Mavlink message telling us to land. I'm going to go find the appropriate code that needs to get ran in the Ardu Pilot code base in order to make that happen. And this can work bi-directionally. The drone can send us information through the same process, and Ground Control Station can use that process.